well. Who do you think Jesus is talking to when he says, um, if they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead? Well, in the story, he's talking to the rich man who died and was now in hell and in torment. But even if Jesus said these exact words to the Pharisees, as it says here in the gospel, I'm sure they didn't have a clue what he was talking about. And every time, just like yesterday, when he'd say, the Son of Man has to be um, scourged and crucified, put to death, and then be raised from the dead, there's never a reaction on the part of the apostles, ever. I, I'm pretty sure, at least from the way the scriptures are written, they hadn't a clue what he was speaking about. They, didn't, they, they couldn't possibly conceive this. And as I said yesterday, they believed, the scriptures all say this, that they came to believe he was the Messiah. But the Messiah in the Jews' minds was someone who was going to free them from Rome, free them from captivity of others, free them so that they could have their own nation, have their own lives, and be blessed by God in every way. So I don't think any of them understood what he was saying. But we, the readers, and by the way, these are all written for us. These weren't written for the people of the day, well, those and everyone who would follow. So here, 2,000 years later, we've had 2,000-year history as a church of believing that that wasn't the end, that this is what happens, the resurrection. So, as we used to say in the seminary, if somebody said something that, uh, um, let's say somebody weighed 350 pounds, and then they, they criticize somebody at the table, oh, you shouldn't eat so much, you're going to get fat. And, and if somebody said, who are you to say that? You're 350 pounds. Others would go like this, ping, ouch, ouch. Well, that's what we say to Jesus' words. He's saying it to us. Do you believe that I've been raised from the dead? Of course we would say yes. So do we listen like this rich man never listened in his life? He had everything he wanted. All the food and all the drink he wanted, all the fine clothes. And even with a man lying down in the street, begging for food, saying, if I could just have the scraps that fell from the table, and he didn't get any, nothing. And even the dogs would lick his sores, but this rich man gave him nothing. So that heart had no eyeballs in it, no ears, couldn't see or hear a thing. And that's what I think Jesus is saying. You know, do you believe me? You have Moses and the prophets, but you, you know what this is. You know the resurrection. Well, I'll tell you, I, this, this uh, reading from Jeremiah, the first one, I like this image, and it, it's a rich one. We hear it in the Psalms also a lot. It says, He is like a tree planted beside the waters. It stretches out its roots to the stream. And the image is a tree that's purposely planted near the waters, running springs, because what happens to those roots? They go down and they go into, that, into those waters. And it's just like when we redid the bathrooms out here, our sewers were gone because the trees stretched down and wrapped around those pipes and broke them. And so we had to replace them all. They were talking $10,000. That's what those trees did. However, let's be nice to the trees because they give us life. They take our carbon dioxide and give us back oxygen. But the point is, if we were like trees planted near running water, and that running water is Jesus the Christ, and every word and every story and every example, you know there's nothing wrong with having fine clothes, lots of linen, nothing wrong with eating and drinking nicely, as long as those things don't choke off our hearts and we stop seeing and hearing with our hearts. And that's, I think, what Jesus and the whole story is about. The rich young man, he didn't need God. He didn't need anything because he had his money and everything that he wanted. But the thing is that his many things choked off his heart and the thing that was most important, a heart that could see and hear, he didn't have it. And Jesus says, be careful. Be careful. Please stand.